Hello everyone, it's Mal. Welcome to slash welcome back to the Dom Mom podcast. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for today's episode. Today's episode is definitely been one in the making for a while because it's a reflective episode over this past year. We're gonna just reflect and talk about it. I did one of these last year where I went through, I sat down and I like reflected over like the timeline of the Dom on podcast and it was kind of like really open It was, and it was like I was journaling. It was my diary. Like I felt like I was really open and I was really honest. So that's what we're going to do today. Completely going to be open and honest with you and we're going to talk about and reflect and yeah. So I feel without further ado. Let's get this podcast episode started. Okay, so first we're going to go back in time and talk about all the episodes I released this past year in 2023, and then we're going to talk about some really exciting achievements that the Dome One podcast made, has become, I don't know the right wording, but yeah, just super duper crazy. First and foremost, I want to thank every single person who has listened to my podcast this past year, who's currently listening. It is insane how much appreciation, and I'm going to cry. I'm literally tearing up. Um, it's just so insane how much support I get on this. I never expected anything like the amount of support I've gotten from my podcast. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much, everybody, for listening and supporting it. So the first episode that I released in 2023 was episode 15, when you're 15. Anyways, I had to do, I had to sing that song from my favorite person. (laughs) Um, Episode 15 is definitely one for the books, in my opinion, even though we didn't have a guest on or anything. It was the first episode that I've ever done with a new setup we had so many new things happen in 2023 slash the end of 2022. I completely changed how I recorded my podcast episode, uh, which may not be a big thing for some, but to me, it was a huge thing. Um, I got a new microphone. Her name's Blue because that's I think it's the brand that it's named, and so her name's Blue. She's like my favorite thing in the world. Anyways, um, so we recorded it on blue, on blue, and then I had a new kind of recording system um, where I can like see my audio waves as I talk, which is a little bit scary, but also like really, really cool. <laughs> so yeah, it was definitely a first one, um, major one. And then I also recorded it wearing something that I created. I created a Dalmon podcast shirt in 2023 and it's my favorite thing ever don't ask me why I decided to do it in January when it's literally like slithering cold right now it's in January when I'm recording it and it's zero degrees outside I'm dead serious like it gets cold where I live so don't ask me why I decided to come out with a t-shirt in winter but you know well I didn't come out with it I just made it for myself but you know what I mean sometimes my thoughts are not all there sometimes (laughs) but anyways it was really cool and it was such a surreal uh, moment for me for sure and then we had episode 16 with Mia from Mia My AG this was such another key moment um for me because like I said we did it on a new a new setup um, this was the first time I ever had like a guest sit inside, sit with in the room that I'm in, in person with my new stuff, you know, my new recording software and my new microphone. So it was just super duper fun to get to test that out and stuff. And then we had episode 17 with Morgan from at blind dolly girl XO. This was such a long time coming episode. Let me tell you one of my favorite episodes ever for sure no doubt I think it's one of the most coolest episodes that I've ever done and yeah it was just she was so awesome the whole episode was awesome I really enjoyed it I was it was a really fun for sure it's one of the episodes 
that when I think of like the coolest episodes that I've ever done, it's definitely in the top five for sure. Another coolest episode that I've ever done is episode 18 with Abby. But before we talk about that, I skipped an episode. I skipped the bonus episode, (laughs) which I'm so sorry I did, but I did. I mean, I hate to call it an episode that I forget about, but it's one of the ones I forget about and it's kind of the ones that I, I regret doing. And I hate saying that because I'm very proud of my podcast and Um, you know, I love doing it, but yeah, it's just something that I regret doing because I understand why I did it. So why I did it, I'm going to, let's, let's explain this real quick. I did not have an episode to post for the month of April and I'm such a consistent person, um, that I was like, I need something to post. Like what is, what am I going to do? And I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to make a bonus episode because I wanted episode 18 to be the one with Abby. I wanted episode 18 to be special, okay? So I was like, oh, I'll just do a bonus episode. So that's what I did, okay? Biggest mistake I've ever done because the bonus episode is just like a regular episode. Like there's nothing different about it other than it's like 20 minutes long and it's the shortest thing I've ever done, you know? Like it's not something... I don't know. I just, I really regret it in that aspect. Like I should have just called it episode 18 or ep- or episode 17.5 or something. Like, I don't know. Like it should have been its own thing and it, or I should have just never done it and I should have just skipped a month. You know, like it's fine to skip. Like I'm learning that you don't have to be consistent all the time. Like, is it good to be consistent? Absolutely. Like I think if you're posting something like a podcast, like for me, I think it that's something I need to do. I need to stay on top of it and I need to constantly post it and I need to constantly hype it up. But, you know, if I'm scrambling or if it's becoming too stressful, I think I shouldn't push myself to make something. That's just how I view it at the moment. Maybe in the future I will grow to love it and accept it, but I don't, so... Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> speaking of episode 18, one of the most coolest ones I've done. Um, again, it is pretty iconic if you ask me. I really loved it with Abby. She, Abby was one of the people that I was really close with who worked at American Girl Kansas City. American Girl Kansas City was my home store. I loved American Girl Kansas City. I still do. Um, when somebody asked me, what my favorite American Girl story is. It's always going to be Kansas City, even though it's not even open anymore. But, you know, it's it's my heart. It has my heart. It's my home. So I was very, very happy that she wanted to come on. I honestly was really nervous for this episode, and I was honestly really nervous to ask her. The Kansas City store closing was so hard for me. It was so hard for me. Like, and I was just someone who went there all the time, you know? Like, I could not imagine how hard it would be for the employees or for someone who really loves American Girl and collects and is working there. Like, I can't imagine how hard it would have been. So, um, I was really nervous to ask her because I was, like, thinking if somebody asked me if I was working at the American Girl store and I was doing everything I was doing, you know, like, collecting and, like, posting and, like, doing all this stuff... Like, I would be devastated to talk about it. And I don't know if I would want to revisit that, you know, because I, you know, I would be just so distraught. And I was so distraught when American Girl Kansas City closed. I mean, I didn't work there, but you know what I mean? Um, so I was really, really nervous asking her. And she was like, oh, my goodness. Yeah, I would I would love to do it. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Like, I was, like, really happy. Um, but also, like, at the same time, like, really nervous because... I don't think I've ever really sat down and revisit it. And that episode taught me so much. Like it taught me it's okay to just sit down and live in the emotions and to revisit, think about what happened in the past. Like go back in time in your head, look through memories, talk about it, you know? Um, I feel like our world is so focused on you have to constantly keep going. You have to constantly move on. Like everybody talks about moving on, but no one talks about living in the emotions and accepting what you're going through. You know what I mean? Like nobody talks about looking back. 
going back in time. I mean, everybody talks about going to the past in a time machine. Nobody talks about actually talking about it, you know? So yeah, that episode taught me so much about that. And it also made me really happy as a podcaster because I, I enjoyed it. You know, I, I had so much fun talking about the Kansas City store. I really did. And yeah, it was something that I really enjoyed. And I hope you all enjoyed it. I know I got a lot of comments saying that it was like really neat and it was really cool. And so I really appreciated that. Um, but yeah, it was really fun. I really enjoyed it. And then we had kind of like a little gap. I didn't post anything for June. June was supposed to, June was crazy for me, if we're going to be real. June was chaotic. (laughs) We went to, you know, American Girl Los Angeles. That was a, you know, Los Angeles was great. That was a whole fun little trip. And then we had the benefit sale. That was great. That was a full fun trip. And so, like, in between that, um, I was working. um, And I... I took summer school classes. So it was kind of chaotic during that month of doing things and stuff like that. So yeah, but I did end up posting a episode in July. It was with my dad, episode 19. You know, that was such a long awaited episode because everybody was like, why aren't you posting in June? And I was like, I'm sorry, (laughs) y'all. But you know, here we are. And at the end of July. Let's go. (laughs) Anyways, my dad has been really vocal um, about coming onto the Dumb Mom podcast. He's always wanted to come on. I really loved that episode. You know, I loved how we talked about building a dollhouse. You know, I feel like everybody who doesn't have a dollhouse, or maybe if you do have a dollhouse, if you're interested how others, how others dollhouses look and how they became what they are today or how they're made, you know, or if, you know, somebody who's looking into building a dollhouse, you know, I feel like that episode is such a good episode for that. And, you know, we talk about traveling to Disney World. Everybody loves Disney. I mean, I never really met anyone who didn't before. So, you know, kind of talk about that as well. And it was kind of on theme because the next month, which I didn't even know, <laughs> but like, that's kind of like funny how it happened. But the next month in August, American Girl released the Disney dolls as part of their collector series. And so it was kind of like really, really on theme. And I was like, this is really cool that it's overlapping and goes together. And yeah, it was really, really fun. And then episode 20, episode 20. I love episode 20. Episode 20 I had on Mel from at Meadows and Melodies and Nikki from at Petite underscore Dollies. I have always wanted to do an episode where I had more than like one person and I kind of envision it to be like a really cool and fun like girls like sleepover type deal. <laughs> like, you know, it's like a slumber party because like we're all like together. We're talking about dolls. Like we're sitting down. It's a whole vibe. Um, I don't know. That's what I think of episode 20 as. I think of us sitting down. We're kind of at the sleepover, even though we're not because we filmed it and like, I mean, we recorded it at like 11 o'clock in the day, um, you know, in the morning. And yeah, um, we were just sitting down, a group of us together talking about what we love to do. You know, we're talking about dolls, talk about the Korean movie. That's crazy how they were in the Korean movie. Insane. We talk about how they were extras in the movie, how the whole process was like. I'm so interested in the behind the scenes stuff. Let me tell you, I would literally sit down. If American Girl ever does a headquarter tour, I would literally watch it. I would hype it up so much because I'm so interested in behind the scenes stuff. I just, I don't know. I'm interested how things are made, you know, anything behind the scenes stuff. I'm, I love it. I eat it up. Anyways, so we talked about kind of the behind the scenes of being in like American Girl movie, which is so cool. And then we talk about the movies that American Girl should make, which I really love that segment. You know, it was so creative, so fun hearing everybody's ideas. And yeah, it was so much fun. It's so much fun to kind of just sit down and be creative and imagine and fantasize and think about stuff that could happen within your favorite doll company. You know, what would you like to see from them? 
what ways could they take their dolls? Like, could they make movies? Could they do books? Could they do, what if this is a book series of so-and-so and and being in this, and then we have her show up, and then this happens? Like, so much fun. And then we have, I feel like it's one of the most iconic episodes that I've ever done. Episode 21. Oh my gosh. I had on Durr from Ruby Red Fashion Friends. This was insane. Okay, so I have to tell you how this went down because you're, yeah, I just have to. So it was the summertime and I was going through like a scheduling phase this past year. I'm going to be completely honest. I had a lot of people tell me no that they did want to come on, which I completely understand. I mean, it's a podcast, you know, like it's kind of scary getting recorded you know, like, I just, I, I understand, and so, and then I had, like, a lot of people who didn't necessarily tell me no, but, like, it was, like, a solid no. You know how, like, sometimes you ask someone to do something, or, like, you ask someone to, like, um, hang out, and it's, like, it's not necessarily a no, but, like, it's a no. Like, it's something like that. It's fine. Like, I get it. Like, it's no worries, and so over the summer, I was, like, thinking of, like, all these people I could have on, and, like, you know, Da, 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 da. and I came up with Durf. I was like, oh my goodness, this would be so cool if he came on. It was in the middle of people telling me no, like I had consistent no's, and when you like get that way, at least I kind of get this way, I was kind of starting to feel down, like kind of like starting to be like, oh, like is anybody going to come on my podcast? Like would anybody want to? Is this kind of like something that is our podcast over? Like, is this like a trend that everybody's over because like everybody has a podcast now or whatever? And so, um, I was first talking to my really good friend about it and I was like, you know, I have this idea to have Durf on the podcast. Do you think like I should ask him? Like, is that too weird to just message him and like introduce myself and like be like, hi, like, my name's Mal, like, I have this podcast, it's doll-themed, I talked about Ruby Red Fashion Friends before, would you like to come on, like, I'd love to have you, like, would that be weird, and so my friend's like, absolutely not, like, you should message him, like, I think this would be really, really cool if you did, and I was like, okay, and so, you know, I was a little bit scared because, once again, several people told me no, and I think of him as, like, such, like, a high person in the doll community because he is. Like, he has such a high position in Ruby Red Fashion Friends. I message him, and I remember he responded, and he was like, yeah, I would love to do this, and I, like, felt relief because I was going to be so embarrassed if he told me no. Like, yeah, I was so nervous that he was going to say no or that he was going to be, like, why a doll podcast? Like, what in the world? Anyways, no, he really wanted to come on and he was really excited to coming on, which I I love that he was so excited to come on because I was so excited for him to come on. You know, once again, I was really nervous for him to come on too. But yeah, it was it was a great episode. And I really appreciate like how Ruby Red Fashion Friends got behind it too. And they were like hyping it up on their social media platforms. Like, I couldn't believe that. I couldn't believe that they would ever do that. And it was crazy. Like, I am getting kind of teary eyes because it was, their support just meant so much to me. It was insane. It really was. It was insane. And I appreciate it to the end of time um, because it was, it was so sweet and it was so thoughtful. All of their Instagram posts and their Facebook posts, all their social media posts, I should say, were just so incredibly sweet and just thoughtful. Like, I just love Ruby Red Fashion Friends. They're so, not only are they, they're like a great company, they make great dolls. They're just so sweet. So yeah, you should definitely go listen to that episode and go check them out if you haven't done so already. They're phenomenal. And then we had our last episode of 2022, which was episode, uh, not 2022, episode 2023, which was episode 22. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. Yeah, episode 22. It was cute. Um, you know, nothing too major happened. 
Um, I will say I was kind of struggling at the end of the year. Um, and I felt like everybody noticed that, or you can maybe tell that because my posting schedule, like there was several, I am someone who is very consistent. Like I mentioned, I don't like to step out of a routine. I am a consistent person. I constantly post on Sundays, YouTube videos, you know, I try to post. It was every day on Instagram. Now it's not every day. It's like, every other day or like yeah whenever my row lines up because I'm very (laughs) I'd love to have you know my row line up it's a whole ordeal we're not going to get into it and you know having my podcast episodes come out every single month on the 25th well this past year especially towards the end I would even say the start of October I definitely step out of that routine. Not because I wanted to, but because I kind of had to and stuff happened. So I kind of talked about it in, I think maybe a YouTube video. I talked um, saying that I was having health issues and that's true. Um, I had a lot of health issues the last few months of 2023 and um it was bad. Like, I will say though, I am doing okay. Um, I'm a lot better than what I was. Um, but because of that, I just didn't do things consistently and I stepped out of the routine. Had a lot of stuff going on at school. Um, this is like my last year being in community college and then I transfer to a four year. So it being my last year, you know, I'm taking on some hard classes and very stressful ones, but it's okay. So it it was a lot to balance. And then um, I had a lot of stuff work related. I had a lot of trainings to go to and stuff like that because it was like the beginning of the school year, you know. So, you know, it was a lot, lot to handle and a lot to balance, you know, because I had all that going on. And then I had my online stuff, you know, my podcast and then, you know, um, YouTube videos and Instagram posts and TikTok content and, you know, all the content and do online. And then I had stuff going on in the doll room, you know, Christmas time's coming up. I had to dress my dolls, you know, like that's a thing that I do every year. I I dress all my dolls except for like a handful of them. And then, you know, I, we get Christmas decorations out and then we have to make Christmas content and then we have to do all that stuff related to that. It can get very overwhelming and then I had a birthday in October and it, it was very overwhelming for me to handle all that stuff and so that's kind of why I um, stopped posting up because I wanted to just because I couldn't necessarily balance it all and I honestly didn't feel like posting anything you know because I didn't feel good yeah like looking back like am I gonna say that I wish I handled it differently absolutely I wish I was consistent so much but I wasn't. And I don't even know, like, if I could go back in time, like, could I fix that I was consistent? Probably not because I was doing so much, you know, like, it's just, it was insane. And so I really apologize for the lack of episodes that came out of me the last year and the lack of videos and lack of content. And not only that, I... I hate to admit this because I feel like nobody talks about it. In the doll community, I feel like nobody talks about it. In the real world, I I think people talk about it more. But in the doll community, I feel like it's very unheard of. You know, people always talk about taking a break, but they never talk about really why, you know? I felt like I burned myself out. I'm going to be completely honest. Like, I felt tired of doing the things that I really, really love to do. And it breaks my heart to say that because I love creating content. I really do. And I love doing things in the doll room. Like those are my two favorite things to do in the world. I don't know if I was just feeling really, really down um, because I couldn't really have time to go in the doll room because I was balancing so much, but I didn't want to create content. I didn't want to step in the doll room. I didn't want to dress the doll with their Christmas outfit. I just kind of felt like I was burnt out, but I wouldn't admit that I was burnt out because if I was burnt out, like, why, why would, why would I admit that? You know, like, I have so 
amazing things that happened in the doll world and I'm doing so many things that it's like how could I burn myself out you know like I don't I don't want to try to say it but I just felt guilty to say that and I felt guilty taking a break you know like it's supposed to be the most wonderful time of the year but I didn't feel like it was the most wonderful time of the year like I just felt really sad in a way it was just such a rough patch in my life personally because you know like I've never dealt with being burnt out with content because this is what I do all the time you know like this is what I love to do and I've never experienced something like this happening to me so it was very different and I think I don't looking back I don't even know if I would consider it to be burned out I've feel like I would consider it to just kind of be discouraged because I had so many things happening to me that it was like feeling really sad that I couldn't spend time with my dolls and so when the time did came that I could spend time with them I felt really bad that I was spending time with them because I was neglecting them for a while like I don't know like it was kind of just like weird emotions happening I'm grateful that I did have to take a step back because now I feel like I have more of a love and appreciation of doing what I love to do. And not to say that I didn't have a love or appreciation for doing what I did because I did. Like, I I do. Like, I loved it. If I didn't love it, then I wouldn't be creating. You know what I mean? And so, um, I would say, like, now I'm loaded with content ideas and I'm loaded with different things that I want to do video wise podcast wise doll room wise you know and I think I kind of needed that step back you know because it's hard to get so caught up with content creating and posting online that you just get carried away and you don't see how things can get better or see how you need to improve or make something new you know like you don't see new ideas you know what I mean I don't know but I am very thankful for 2023 and for everything that it's brought up because it was amazing you know other than the end of the year debacle which I believe everything has a reason I'm trying to discover that with whatever happened with what happened then but whatever um, it was, it was great, and I really enjoyed all the podcast episodes that I released. I hope you all did, too. Um, it was amazing, and I can't believe everyone who came on the Doll Mom podcast in 2023. I wonder who will come on in 2024. <laughs> We had so many accomplishments and so many things that happened in 2023. We have to talk about it. Oh my goodness. I, first and foremost, I want to say this is crazy to me that everything that happened in 2023, I'm very, very thankful. You know, like I mentioned at the, at the, in our last segment, how thankful and appreciative that I am for all of the support that happened in 2023. It's still so true. Oh my goodness. So first of all, we were number three in kids and family in Ecuador on the Apple podcast chart. And then we were number 56 in all podcast on the Apple podcast chart in Ecuador. This is so, so crazy to me. Whenever I get those little um, news updates like that, I don't know what to call them, that information, that piece of information, it's insane because I never imagined that I would be on a top of a, or even in or on a Apple podcast ranking of every single podcast in the world in a country. I didn't even know those existed. Like, I'm going to be completely honest. I didn't. And so to hear stuff like that, it's just, it's crazy to me. It really is. So thank you, everyone, to who made that possible. That is just, and thank you, everyone who listens there. Like, you all are amazing. Thank you so much. We got put on two new platforms at the beginning of 2023. Those were iHeartRadio, which that's insane to me because when I think of iHeartRadio, I think of like Taylor Swift and like 
all of these other celebrities that are like really big like Harry Styles and like Sean Mendez you know like all these people who are like big celebrity like artists on iHeartRadio and then to see my podcast on something that's big like that I just think that's insane like it's I had speechless. I get speechless a lot when it comes to different things like this. And this one is no exception because it is crazy to me. We also got put on Pandora, which I'm so proud about because, listen, I'm going to tell you that whole process about being put on Pandora. So there's certain um, platforms that require you to fill out an application and you get picked to be put on. Pandora was one of those. So I filled out this whole application to be put on Pandora, okay? And it was the summer of 2022. I filled it out and I didn't hear anything. And I think my application got lost because it just, it just wasn't turning up, okay? So then I resubmitted it kind of at the end of 2022 with hopes that I would get on in 2023 or end of 2022 and I got on like can you believe I got accepted by that like it is it's crazy I got accepted because I heard that they were like I was researching it too like how to like make your application look really good and like how to get accepted and like yeah it was it was crazy I got put on there so if anyone who's listening to us on iHeartRadio or Pandora, shout out to you guys because, yeah, that's it's crazy that I'm, that I'm listening to and that I'm on so many different podcast platforms. And then we hit 200 followers on Instagram, which is crazy. Thank you all so much for that. Crazy, 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 crazy. Then we celebrated two years of the Dolmon podcast, which, to be honest, I don't even consider it my podcast to be on the internet for two years because, you know, I, um, only published like what three or four episodes the first year that I was on. And then I stopped and then I picked it back up again, like nine months later. So like, I just don't consider it to be on, um, the internet for that long, but you know, you got to acknowledge that that stuff I'm learning, you know? Okay. And then 2023, it was the year that I, really wanted to start monitoring things like looking and like being involved with the listens okay (laughs) so like one of the things I really wanted to do I wanted to keep track of where I was listened in okay so I spent a really long time trying to find coloring sheets of the world all the continents on it, and then all the United States map, you know, um, and I printed them out, and I started coloring them, and I was like, you know what, this would be so cool if, like, we did, like, a cute little, like, series, you know, on TikTok or Reels or something, like, because that would be, because I'm sure other people might like to see the behind-the-scenes stuff, like, like I do, because I'm always interested in behind-the-scenes stuff, so I was like, okay, let's do that. And so I did that. And it took a long time to actually color all those and to like verify the countries and like look them up on the map and like be like, oh, this is, this is where they are. I need to find a bigger map for the world because it's getting very hard to read some of the countries. And I'm like, is that, is that little space, the Netherlands? Like where is, where is the, yeah. It's kind of hard to see all of them because there's so many countries in the world, but it's fine, you know? I want to thank everyone who's listening right now and who has listened to my podcast because it is insane that I'm listened in so many countries and I'm listened in almost all the states in America. That is crazy to me. I've never expected that. And then I made a Facebook page for the Dolmon Podcast funny story I have to tell it to you so the reason I made a doll a Facebook page for the doll mom podcast on Facebook was because I really wanted to have someone on that was on Facebook they ended up saying no I reached out several times it's fine it's okay I really wish they would have said yes because I think the episode would have been amazing and it would have been so cool but you know stuff happens for a reason 
everything happens for a reason. I'm a firm believer in that. Maybe the episode would have not been great. You know, like, would it might have not, nobody might have not liked it. Like, nobody would have liked it. Nobody would have listened to it. I wouldn't listen to it. Like, maybe it just wasn't, wouldn't be as great as what I thought it would be. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, that's why I made a Facebook page was because I wanted someone to come on. Um, you know, even though they ended up saying no and it was the whole purpose of that, I still keep it up because it's cute. It's fun. Why not? So if you haven't gone and checked us out on Facebook, you should do so because it's a cute Facebook page. I thought it was really nice. I mean, I thought it's cute. I thought it, I think it's cool that we're on Facebook. We added so many countries to the, the Dom Mom podcast listening map. Oh my goodness. It's insane. Thank you all so much. Okay, get a load of this. This is crazy to me, okay? The Dom Mom podcast was number 84 in Kids and Family, which Kids and Family is my category. When you make a podcast behind the scene background tip, fact, I don't know what to call it. When you start a podcast, you have to put a category that your podcast is in. And so my category is Kids and Family because dolls are technically targeted towards kids even though dolls can be made and for every single person in the world no matter what age you are I'm a firm believer of that I'm not a kid I'm 20 years old like and I'm still in this like I'm a firm believer dolls can be for anybody but um I did put kids and family just because they are targeted marketed towards kids usually And plus, they don't have, like, a toy category. If they did, don't worry. I'd put toys for sure. But this was, like, the closest category that my podcast would fall into. So, that's why I clicked it. Um, Or, you know, we're in it. I picked it. (laughs) Anyways, it is insane that I was on the Apple Podcast chart in New Zealand. Number 84 in my category? Crazy. And then we were also in France? like number 203 oh my gosh that is so crazy especially in like a country that I don't really speak its language it's insane like oh my gosh like I cannot comprehend that at all seeing like different stuff like this literally makes me want to cry (laughs) because once again I never expected anything like this to happen and I'm very thankful and appreciative and blessed with all of the support that I get um, about my podcast because when I started my podcast there was like maybe there was like a few podcasts around that was doll related like I it was very hard to come by doll themed podcast and so when I started it I was like nobody's gonna listen to it because why because there's so few of the podcasts out there that I think gave me that impression But just because there's so few of something doesn't mean that it can have a major impact, you know? So I didn't, I just didn't really think people would support it because, you know, usually when you think of dollies and rainbows, I think that you think of YouTube videos or maybe you think of Instagram photos. You don't think of a podcast or episodes. You think of like something you can watch. So to be kind of stepping out of my comfort zone and to be stepping into a world that I wasn't familiar with and people supporting that really means a lot to me. And I'm just so appreciative. Thank you guys so much. And to see our Spotify wrapped for this year, crazy. Um, I'm just going to read you some of the things. Okay, so our top episode of the year was Doll Parenting with Mia at Mia My AG, Doll News and Traveling with Our Dolls. And then, you know, we were a top podcast for 15 fans, top Five for 37 top 10 for 48 people that is insane and then we had you know plus 15 percent in listeners plus 128 percent followers our top country was united states uh, we had 265 minutes created that's how many like minutes you know i created from like the episode podcast crazy to see all of these analytics and demographics and numbers and statistics regarding my podcast it's it's crazy to me it blows me away I get speechless a lot and then kind of like to end the year um we were on 
I put my cell phone podcast on YouTube. So over the summer, YouTube launched its own kind of podcast area on YouTube called Podcast on YouTube. They invited me to join when it became available. And I, for the longest time, I debated on it because YouTube, I think of my YouTube videos, you know, I think of unboxings, I think of reviews, I think of store tours, I think of hauls, I think of, you know, any other video I, you know, reviews. Did I say that already? I don't know. But like any other video I would create, I think of, you know, something that you would watch, not something that you would listen to. And I kind of wanted to keep my podcast kind of not necessarily away from what I do. I kind of think of it's like its own thing. Like I don't think of something that it's a part of something on YouTube, you know? Like I don't think it's, um, I don't know. I think it's me, but I think it's its own separate thing from Dollies and Rainbows. Like it's like, okay, I'm going to visualize this. It's like Mattel. You know, Mattel's a toy company. They manufacture, they make toys. It's like, but they have brands that they make. So they have Hot Wheels, they have Barbie, they have American Girl, and then they have several other brands. It's like a brand. It's like, I'm Mattel. My YouTube work, this is so, this is really weird. I'm visualizing this um, and explaining it. But anyways, it's like, I'm Mattel. And my YouTube stuff is like American Girl. Okay, but then my podcast is like the Barbie brand. And then like, you know, we have like it's Hot Wheels. Like it's like its own separate brand. This is making no sense. Anyways, just just go with it. Just go with my weird, chaotic, crazy mind at the moment. But I ended up putting it on YouTube because I looked into it a little bit more and because I got a lot of requests for putting it on YouTube, which was something that I didn't think I would get. You know, I didn't think people on YouTube would necessarily be interested in listening to something. You know, when I think of people who go on YouTube, I think of people who want to sit down and watch something. I don't think of people who want to sit down and listen to something. And so I decided to put it on YouTube. Yeah, so if you're listening to podcasts on YouTube... Hey, shout out to you. If you're listening to Spotify, shout out to you. If you're listening to anything, shout out to you. Yeah, I'm excited to see where my podcast goes in 2024. I'm excited. Hopefully, you know, people enjoy it. I would like to be more consistent with it. I mean, consistency is definitely a big thing for me, but I also um, am learning that consistency doesn't have to be all the time, you know, like, it's okay um, to take a break. It's okay to let life happen and not to get upset by it. And I'm looking forward to all the people I have on 2024. I, I have some ideas that I hope you all would like. Um, I have no idea if they're going to say yes or not. Hopefully they will because I think the episode would be amazing. So yeah, cheers to 2024 and to all the new experiences and everything that comes out in it or with it. I don't even know. I hope it's a good year for all of us. Alrighty, everyone. That was this podcast episode, episode 23, which I can't believe we're on 23 already. That's crazy. I felt like this episode was all over the place, and I feel like last year's episode when I did this was much more organized. You know, I kind of had a plan going in, and like this time I did too, but like last time, I usually, behind the scenes moment here, I like to write up everything beforehand, and so like last time, you know, I had it all organized, Google Docs was my best friend, like we just went through it, and this time I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to look off my Instagram and we're going to talk about that. And so that's what we did. So I feel like it was much more all over the place. Last time I had it in like segments and stuff. So anyways, I'll probably do that next year so it can be more. Or I should say this year because we're already in January. Goodness gracious. Anyways, let me know if you enjoyed this episode. I kind of felt like it was my journal a little bit. You know, I opened up about different things and we talked about, you know, and we looked back on the episode. And this was such a fun filled year. 2023 was I really enjoyed it and, you know, I really loved how the podcast grew and I love growing, I mean, by the episode numbers. You know, I really wish I was more active with it, you know, we didn't post um, for like two months, I feel like, but, you know, it's okay, like, 
I feel like I made up for it a little bit or I'm making up for it now. So maybe this year I can like hit every single month, hopefully. Um, that's like a goal of mine is to like post. So we shall see if I do that. If I don't, I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Um, because I'm trying to not to hold myself to all of these big expectations that I set for myself. So like, you know, posting a video every single Sunday and posting a podcast every, uh, episode every single month and trying to post on Instagram every single day. And if I don't, I'm a failure, I feel like. But I'm trying not to let myself feel like that because sometimes you just need to be in your doll room and you just need to enjoy it. You need to do stuff. And sometimes that can prevent you from posting a video or posting a podcast episode or posting something on Instagram because you're enjoying your dolls. You're enjoying what you love to do. Yeah, I'm really hard on myself for different, several different reasons. And I have really hope in 2024, I'm not too hard on myself. Like that's something I don't want to be. I don't want to be really, really hard on myself. I want to live and I want to enjoy things, you know? Anyways, I feel like this episode is very, very long, so I need to wrap it up, but as always, it's really, really fun to make an episode. Um, I'm getting ready to make episode 24, which is crazy. Episode 24, I really hope that you guys love. I haven't even recorded it yet, and I'm already in love with it. We do have a guest on. Hope you all love it. I think it's going to be really, really fun. My name is Mal. As always, thank you so much for listening. I'm Dollies and Rainbows on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest. I've started diving into the Pinterest land and it's really fun. Like it's so satisfying to like, you know, create your little pins and like your, I don't know. Anyways, it's just really fun for me right now. (laughs) I'm really enjoying that part and I do it during the commercials of the Chiefs games because it's just, it's just really fun. You know, I feel like I'm getting a lot done while I'm watching my Chiefs it's like multitasking, you know, like I'm, I'm sitting there watching, you know, supporting my, my team while I'm like doing my content, you know, like I, I, it just makes me feel really good. Anyways, um, that's where I'm all at on the internet. You should also check out the Dom Mom podcast. We're on Instagram at Dom Mom podcast, as well as TikTok and Facebook. We love Facebook. So you should go check us out as well. Um, links to all of the social media platforms I just talked about are in the description of this podcast episode. So you can just, you know, open it up, click, boom, there it is. So yeah, I really appreciate it if you went to go check us out. And yeah, as always, thank you so, 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 so much for listening. Your support means so much to me. Um, I've never expected my podcast to be like this. I'm, I have tears in my eyes, guys. Oh my goodness. Um, I love you all so much and I hope you all have a great 2024. I'll talk to you on the next episode. Okay. Bye. Thank you so much for listening.